Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapix. Back at it again, we got another interesting one today. We have this HP uh, X360 uh, Spectre. I actually probably shouldn't be showing the bottom because it has it, but I did uh, take out the board. I actually was taking a look at it already. It's a really nice one. This is one of those HP really thin devices here. It has a nice uh, i7. Looks like a possible liquid spill as this keyboard is pretty nasty. And it's in here for it says it's a no power repair. Um, maybe the possible liquid spill, obviously, because the keyboard is really nasty. But um, I want to see if that's really the case. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. I'm ready to kind of open up. I actually saw something pretty interesting. I'm like, well, definitely got to make a video about this today. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the board and see what's going on. So look at this. Something's being knocked. Looks like it's been torn, ripped, whatever you want to see. Man, so some of the traces are gone there. Uh, luckily, I do have a, a donor for this one. I have the exact one here. And it's actually a pretty good circumstance here uh, because the legs are a little bit longer in this one and the damage isn't too severe. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and fix up the, the one area. And then what we're going to do is make a jumper for the last leg there. So first, I'm going to put in some flux. I'm going to be seeing if I can actually work this this little trace line here because this is where the trace line actually does need to connect now I'll show a little bit later in the video where it's not enough for a, a, at least a good enough attachment so I do dig a little bit I didn't show me digging a little bit more out of it but that's what we're gonna be doing so I can get a better connection but first I can put this in I can attach the three legs on the bottom actually absolutely no problem and the one even in the top left corner doesn't seem to be too bad so I'm able to do that um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of flux and then we're gonna put some hot air here make sure that it fits in but the other leg is gonna be a little bit lifted there so that's still not a problem because we're still gonna work on it too so put some hot air and then I'm gonna use the hot iron with a little bit of solder there just to touch up everything and make sure it's fine because you'll see actually the legs are gonna attach very very well you see that there oh that's so satisfying to watch all right now we need to work on the jumper which is uh, the most important thing we're not gonna be worried about the one cap there it's redundant cap it's not really necessary for this one uh, we could do replacement but again it's redundancy uh, now we're gonna be making the wire so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm attaching the wire to the, the top right part of the leg first and then actually I do dig a little bit I don't, I don't know why I didn't record it uh, I don't know I was digging a little bit more in the board there just scrape by a little bit so I get a little bit of a better attachment because you need to have a perfect attachment for this thing to sit perfectly the one attachment I had on it before where I could touch up the little piece of the solder there for it wasn't enough so I did have to dig a little bit more but you can see I do make a nice connection and it's actually holding up pretty well um, I did have to dig a little bit more just to get the board so look it's a nice solid connection um, everything looks to be fine there um, we did uh, some extra solder job too on some of the legs and everything looks to be good so let's go ahead and test it out I know people it's late it's late but let's go ahead and uh let's test it i know it's getting dark man we gotta get out of here man it's getting too dark let's go ahead and plug it in we want to be careful especially that wire is very 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 fragile and you see we're getting 20 20 volts i'm not getting any amps but that means the USB C is is recognizing it it's converting it from 5 to 12 right i hope so well let's go ahead and turn on so i have the power button out here let's go ahead and turn on and see if we actually get a fan spin can you see the fan Oh, see the light there that came on? Power button, fan spin. We're getting amps now. Everything looks to be good. I'm going to leave it in this condition. Let's shut it off. Obviously, this has been somewhere else, right? Or maybe not. Maybe this battery here has absolutely no way of being held. Because, look, every part is broken on it. This part where it holds, where is this part? This part shows or something. That's probably just the battery. But, look, this piece of plastic is broken. And this piece of plastic is broken. And how? How? Look at this thing. How? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just put adhesive on the bottom there. I hate doing that. But, like, look at this. This is ridiculous. How is all these things broken? Even the one next to this. So what probably happens is it gets shuffled around. Maybe it knocks something out. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. What do you guys think? Just let me know down below. This, this is ridiculous. See that? Man, that keyboard's ass. Oh, I should have wiped this down before. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the Spectre X360 or X360 Spectre or HP Spectre X360. If you did, please leave us a like. Really, this helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We have lots of cool other videos. Uh, we do 
we could do this type of repairs like on MacBooks. That's really what we focus on. We mainly do that. But hey, we always take in something that that we would love to see, right? We always like to see some good stuff. So hope you guys are watching. Good repair um, for you guys. Uh, hope if you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We got lots of cool videos: data recovery, liquid spills, boil level repairs. Yeah, and we have got lots of cool software stuff too. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.